How can you take an equation of a line and make a graph of it? That's the goal uh, here, and that's what this video will be about. And I have two examples for you. The first one here is we're going to take the equation y equals 2x minus 3, and I'll draw a graph of it here. And I have another equation graph set up here. y is equal to negative 1 over 3x plus 2, or negative 1 third x plus 2. So we'll make graphs of both of those equations and show you how it's done. First thing you want to remember when you're looking at this equation, this is in slope intercept form, so right there the 2 is going to be our slope and the negative 3 is our y intercept. And so when, we, when I'm graphing these things, the first thing I want to do is I want to figure out where am I going to start? Where do you even begin? And I think the key right there is let's start at the y-intercept. That's one place where we know our line is going to be. We know it's going to cross the y-axis. There's our y-axis, and that's our x-axis. It's going to cross our y-axis at negative 3. So that's our starting point. And I'll put a, a dot or a point right there on the graph at y is equal to negative 3. So we start at the origin, and we go down 1, 2, 3. So there is our y-intercept there at negative 3. So that's where it will begin. From there, where does the line go? That's what the slope tells us. The slope is going to tell us how steep that line will be and whether it's going to be going up or going down. Remember, slope is rise over run. And so, what's the rise over run if our slope is 2? One thing I like to do is I like to turn that into a fraction. And so if our slope is rise over run, our slope is going to be 2 over 1. So I like to turn the number 2 into a fraction by putting it over 1. So 2 over 1. So the rise is 2, the run is 1. So we're going to be going up 2 over 1. So let's draw that out on the graph here. If we start at that point, start at our y-intercept of negative 3, let's go up to 1, 2, over 1, put a dot. We rose 2, we went over 1. So rise over run. Let's do the same. Rise over run. We're going to go up to 1, 2, over 1, put a dot rise 2 over 1 put a dot and now you can see our line being set up here and I can just connect those points there's our line so I took that equation and made a graph of it I identified our starting point will be our y-intercept was negative 3 the 2 is our slope I converted 2 into a fraction, making it 2 over 1, so I know what the rise over run will be, up 2 over 1, and I just put those points on the graph. Pretty easy. Let's try the second example. This time, the equation is y is equal to negative 1 third x plus 2. What do we do? Let's first identify our negative 1 third as being our slope. Positive 2 is our y-intercept. And now we're ready to start graphing. Where do we begin? The one place on this graph that we know our line will pass through is our y-intercept. This is our y-axis right here. Our line is going to cross the y-axis at positive 2. That's our y-intercept. So if we start at the origin, we go up 2 and that right there will be our y-intercept. So there's our y-intercept. Where does the line go from there? Again, that's what our slope is telling us. Don't forget that our slope, of course, is always rise over run. And in this case, it's negative 1 over 3. So I'm going to put that negative sign with the 1, put this over 3, and now we know that we're going, our rise is going to be negative 1, which means we're going to be going down 1, and our run is over 3, so we're going to be going over 3. Down 1, over 3, and let's figure out what that will be. So down 1, 
over three, one, two, three, and I'll put a dot. Down one, over three, and I'll put a dot right there. And so you can see our line is sloping down, which is what that negative sign suggests right there. Anytime your slope is negative, that line is going to be going down. And if I connect those with a line, and that line will extend back this way as well. Here is our line going off like this. So our line crosses the y-axis at positive 2. It is sloping down with a slope of negative 1 over 3. It's going down 1 over 3. Down 1 over 3. And there's our line. So a negative slope means lines going down. Up here we had a positive slope so the line is going up. So that's what we'll do if we need to draw the graph of a line based on its equation uh, fairly easily. I hope this helps uh, and good luck on your homework assignment.